Hey everyone, welcome back to SFDC Ninja and today I am back with another Apex Trigger scenario. I would like to thank Jyotiba for sharing this scenario which he faced in his interview for IBM. Guys, if you have any scenario that you would like me to cover, feel free to leave a comment. I will definitely create a video on it. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. First, let's understand what we are going to do today. So in today's scenario, whenever an opportunity record is created or updated, and if amount is greater than 10,000, then we need to send an email to the record owner. So this is what we need to do today. Now it's time to code. So let's go to VS Code and create our handler class. Let's name it email trigger handler. Let's create our method. See, we need to send an email whenever opportunity gets created or updated. So what we will do, we will pass a list of opportunity as parameter in our method. So let's pass it. Let's say OBP list or let's say new OBP list. And in this list, we will pass trigger.new from our trigger. So this list is equal to trigger.new. Copy its name, apply a null check on it and iterate over it. Guys see, we need to include owner name in the email, but we cannot include it directly. Like we cannot write neopp.owner.name. We will get null for it. Let's say we want to include parent account name of the opportunity in the email or somewhere else in the code. And if we will write something like this, Account dot name, then also we will get null because let's say we are working on triggers and you have a lookup field like the owner field on opportunity or account field. Basically, you get the ID of the related record, not the entire record itself. That's why if you need information from related records, you have to perform additional query to fetch the data. So in our code, we need to use the owner name, which we can fetch using Sokal. But we need name of the owner of the opportunity which is being updated or inserted. I mean this opportunity. So to fetch its owner name, we will first store the owner ID in a set and then we will use that stored owner ID to fetch the other details. So let's create a set first. Let's remove this. Let's say owner IDs. Now in this set, Owner ID should get stored only if the amount is greater than 10,000. So here, let's apply a check like this. Dot amount not equal to null and amount is greater than 10,000. If this condition will get true, I mean if the amount is greater than 10,000, then we will simply add owner ID in this set. So copy its name, paste it here and add owner IDs. Let's apply a null check on this set. This is to execute the rest of the code only if this set contains a value and this set will have the value only if amount is greater than 10,000. Now in next step, we will use the ID present in this set to fetch the other details of the owner like email or name like this and let's say owner map select id name from user where id is in this set so by passing user id in get method for this map, we can easily have the other details. Now let's iterate over this list. Let's say OPP. And here let's create the email.
set to addresses. Now guys see, here we will set the recipient of the email. We can use either this map to get the email or we can use opp.ownerid like this. opp.ownerid Our code will interpret these IDs as email address. Basically, it automatically resolves this ID to the email address associated with that user record. We also need name of the owner. So let's fetch that using this map and this set. Let's create a variable. Copy this map name, paste it here. Contains key. Else it will be empty. Set the subject also. Opportunity amount. Shading, let's see threshold. Let's set the body also. Copy this name, paste it here. OTP dot name exceeding ten thousand. Let's create a list to store emails. Copy this list name and here add the emails in it. Apply an check on it. So we have our handler class ready. Let's save it and deploy it to work. It is successfully deployed. Now let's create our trigger. Let's name it OPPTRG. Our trigger will be an opportunity object. And we have to use after insert and after update. Apply a check like this to call our handler class method only for after insert or after update operation. Copy our handler class name, paste it here. Save it and deploy it to work. It is successfully deployed. We have our code ready. It's time to see it in action. So let's go to our org. And here let's create an opportunity with amount greater than 10,000. Let's say 20,000. Click on save. So here, as you can see that we have received an email. Uh, let's create an opportunity with the amount less than 10,000. Click 
click on save and this time we have not received any email now here what we will do we will update the amount and we will make it 50,000 which is greater than 10,000 now if our trigger is working fine then an email will be sent click on save let's refresh this and here as you can see that we have received an email so that's it for today guys and i'll be back with more interesting figure scenarios thank you and keep watching